In eastern Nevada, one of the least populous areas in the United States, is a prison that holds some of the most dangerous men in the state. Ely is a mountain town known for its open spaces that surround it. The prison has recently endured a hunger strike and has regular occurrences of violence. Death Row and the execution chamber for the state of Nevada is located here. The prison, Ely State Prison. Let's get into it. As with most of my profiles, we'll start by taking a look at the city of Ely. Prison towns are usually directly intertwined with the facility. Then we'll highlight some of the prison facts and figures before moving on to notable incidents and infamous inmates. Ely, Nevada is located in White Pine County. It is the county seat and largest city within White Pine. Currently, the population of Ely is 3,924, which is down from 4,255 in 2010. Starting as nothing more than a stagecoach stop, Ely was situated along the Central Overland Route for 20 years until the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. This served as the main route to Carson City and beyond to California. In 1906, copper was discovered and Ely became a mining town. The success or failure of the town solely rests upon the success of the precious metal. Gold was also mined in the area, which kept the town alive in the 80s and 90s. Surprisingly, Ely is one of the coldest places in the United States due to its nighttime temperatures. On average, 214 days are below freezing. July is the hottest month, with the average being 89.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The town is surrounded by the mountains with Great Basin National Park about an hour's drive. The area is popular with hikers, mountain bikers, and cross-country skiers. Ely had the tallest building in Nevada from 1929 to 1931. The Hotel Nevada and Gambling Hall, which has hosted many politicians and celebrities. Now that we know a bit about the area, let's look at the prison. Ely State Prison is 12 miles from the city center on State Route 490, which essentially ends at the prison. The facility opened in July 1989 and was immediately designated as the maximum security prison for the state. The town had lobbied hard to have a prison built with $25,000 going into the campaign. The Nevada State Legislature approved the building of the prison in Ely on December 19, 1985. Originally, the prison was designed to hold 1,054 offenders, but that had been increased to accommodate 1,183. The prison appears to be operating at a much lower population than its capacity. The facility is a mix of close custody and maximum custody inmates. According to the Nevada Department of Corrections, close custody is a restrictive level of supervision for inmates whose offense or institutional conduct indicates that they represent a potential of violence, escape, or disruption of institutional operations within the controls inherent to close custody. While maximum custody is the designated status for administrative or disciplinary segregation or disciplinary detention for close custody custody inmates. Maximum custody is the most restrictive level in Nevada. The prison employs 336 staff and is considered a major employer for the area. Currently, there are staffing issues across the department in Nevada, especially at Ely State Prison, given the rural nature of the location. There has been a proposal at Ely State Prison to introduce drones to help with surveillance inside the prison. Those same drones could also assist with prison escapes. This is still in the early stages, but if successful, you could see this implemented by other state prisons across the country. The prison operates on a $32 million yearly budget. The facility has eight housing units with a double fence and towers situated at each corner. In 2016, Nevada finished construction of their $860,000 execution chamber. Executions had previously been completed at Nevada State Prison, which closed in 2012. An audit completed by the state found that, on average, death penalty cases cost between $1.03 to $1.31 million. Quite a cost. There has yet to be an execution at Ely State Prison, but as of 2022, 64 men sit on death row. Nevada, like many other states, has had a problem obtaining the drugs necessary to carry out their executions. It does not appear there are any scheduled executions at Ely State Prison at this time. In 2008, the ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of over 1,000 inmates due to a pervasive pattern of grossly inadequate medical care at the prison that created a substantial risk of serious medical harm for every prisoner in the facility. Additionally, the lawsuit alleged that offenders weren't receiving necessary medication and medical procedures, including one inmate who was denied medical care because treating chronic pain is against the policy of the prison. 
An agreement was reached in 2010, which resulted in an independent medical expert monitoring the health system and ensuring that inmates had access to an RN or higher within 48 hours of a medical request being turned in. In December 2022, 39 inmates at the facility went on a hunger strike to protest the conditions at the prison. The main issue appeared to be the food being provided for meals. Aramark, known for unappetizing meals, was the food service provider for the facility. Other complaints being made by the inmates included lack of privileges that are offered at other facilities, lack of programming, and phone system issues. Nevada DOC responded, We are listening to these offenders and want to fix those areas where we may have been inconsistent. Some of the claims are false, but some of them have merit and we want to correct them. After 30 days, the hunger strike was ended voluntarily by the offenders. It is currently unclear what, if any, demands had been met by Nevada DOC. On Friday, December 12, 2022, offender Tyreek Settles was stabbed at the facility. While officers were moving Settles to another cell, another inmate, Devontae Acock, attacked Settles with a shank. Settles also had a weapon on him and defended against the attack, but was unsuccessful. Officers fired a foam baton round striking Acock and were able to take him into custody, but the damage was already done and Settles did not survive. Acock was already serving a 10 to 30 year sentence for attempted murder. He is currently being housed in the segregation unit at Ely State Prison. I previously highlighted an escape from High Desert State Prison by Porfirio Duarte Herrera. He is now housed at this prison in the maximum custody unit. Click the link above to check out that video. In October 2022, it was revealed that two inmates sent a white powdery substance to a Las Vegas courthouse, not once, but twice. Whenever a substance like this is sent, there is a concern that it is anthrax, a deadly material. At last report, the substances were being tested. The two inmates were not named while the investigation is ongoing. Before moving on to some infamous inmates at the facility, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new content. James Bela was convicted in the murder of a college student named Brianna Dennison. She was abducted on January 20th, 2008, and her body was found in a field on February 15th of the same year. A massive search ensued, quickly gaining media attention in the Reno area. A tip was received by police pointing to Bela. Police obtained permission from the mother of Bela's son to obtain his DNA, which was a familial match. Bela was arrested, tried, convicted, and sentenced to death. He has been on death row at Ely State Prison since 2010. Another resident of Ely State Prison is Zane Floyd. He is also sitting on death row waiting for his date with death. Floyd was convicted of four counts of murder that occurred on June 3, 1999 at an Albertson supermarket. The motive? Floyd said he always wanted to know what it was like to kill someone. Floyd has been scheduled to be put to death twice, but due to issues with the drugs being used, it was stayed. Floyd previously requested the firing squad be used but it does not appear his quest is going to be granted. We have now profiled Ely State Prison. It may be one of the most remote prisons in the country. Surrounded by mountains and barren land, it is a major employer for Ely, Nevada. Housing close and maximum security inmates, it holds the most dangerous men in Nevada. It has a new death chamber that may never be used, given the push in the US to limit the use of the death penalty. It's likely that Ely State Prison will continue to have violence in the future. Let me know in the comments how long you could last on a hunger strike. Be sure to check out my other state prison profiles. As always, see you next time.